Hey, how about some world gold? Let's start here in South Africa, make our way up to uh, North Africa, and even Colombia, then Mexico. Oh, yeah, look at all that. And North America, and look at that, Incus Indian. And, and then we'll head over to Europe, and there we go. Some more gold over there. And, you know, gold has been, you know, a store of wealth for people for thousands of years across cultures, across across time frame. And uh, there we go, all the way to Australia. And then Papua New Guinea? Hmm, looking a little bare there. Let's check it out. All right, I showed you my flyby just a second ago. Uh, let me show you my latest pickups. I have a couple. First of all, a little bit of German gold Geiger. And I am really uh, coming to uh, love this Geiger gold with the serial number. You could put a black light on it. And it's, it's really nice, high-end, premium. And if that's not enough. That's a little piece right there. Just a grammar. I'll tell you what, these grams are getting more and more expensive by the week. But I also picked up this beautiful 20 pesos, 20 pesos. Uh, this uh, right here is the, a lot of people call it the Aztec calendar and the Aztec sunstone. And uh, take a look at this side is Estados Unidos Mexicanos. This is the uh, obverse, actually any side on a Mexican coin with the eagle and the snake on the cactus is the obverse. But man, talk about an interesting motif. Some people love it. Some people don't uh, with because it's a little off-centered, uh, but it's different. That's for sure. And a nice piece for my collection. Let me add this over to my Mexico section, which is getting bigger. It's kind of, I'm kind of Mexico heavy, but that's okay. My goal though is to fill this whole board up with gold from around the world. And I'll tell you what, uh, one place that I don't currently have gold from is, well, not exactly. It's Papua New Guinea. And Papua New Guinea, uh, I do have to tell you about that part of the world because I am making this video on behalf, and this video is disseminated on behalf of Great Pacific Gold Corp. U.S. ticker symbol FSXLF. So if you want to look it up and get into it like I did, and by the way, full disclosure, uh, once I started doing the research on this company, I jumped in and picked up some stock from Great Pacific Gold Corp. Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the company, and as I do, uh, you could kind of gander at this gold here, and uh, and I want to thank the sponsor of this video, uh, Great Pacific Gold Corp, for the opportunity to uh, make this video for them, share a little bit about their company, and stick around, guys. I think you'll be impressed with what I have to say. Oh, by the way, since this is a sponsored video, this happens to be one of those videos where, hey, I get paid, you get paid. One of you who uh, watches this full video from beginning to end and makes a comment will be eligible to win one gram of gold from yours truly. I appreciate my sponsored videos. I appreciate you guys watching. And again, good luck. Be sure to watch the whole video and make a comment. Somebody's going to win a gram of gold. Now, of course, guys, this right here, uh, you know, for thousands of years, this is the gold we trust. And a lot of us stackers are content with having uh, the physical gold, as am I. As you can see, my little fr uh, fractional collection here. However, some of us want a little bit more and bigger opportunities. And right now we're in a bull market. Guys, you've seen the gold market go up and up and up and hit those highs. Well, Great Pacific Gold Corp is a mining company. And when we have situations like what we're currently experiencing, mining companies outperform. They do really, really well historically. And when I say, uh, you know, gold goes up two or three or four or five or maybe even 10 or 15% in a year, 
We're talking multipliers here. Uh, this stock could potentially do a 6X, a 7X. We're talking about huge possibilities and you know high risk, high reward. However, when you take a look at the charts I'm about to show you, uh, I think you'll find that the argument for Great Pacific Gold Corp, by the way, FS, XLF, that is the ticker symbol, is a very, very compelling argument for this company, for mining companies in general, but this one specifically in Papua New Guinea. Let's talk a little bit about price for starters. Uh, this stock is very affordable. You could pick up a decent amount of shares for under a dollar. The market cap on this one is $80 million. It's very undervalued in my opinion. And again, that's why I pick some up. But in order to understand really where this thing has been and where it's going, you have to take a look at the charts. Take a look at the charts, my friends. Uh, in the recent history, going back six months and going back a year, you notice that chart's green? <laughs> that means it's going up, and you can tell by that uh, pattern. Uh, I really like that. And even into the two-year, uh, it, it's gone up and up and up. It had some spikes, some dips, but look at that overall trend, and that is impressive. Uh, Papua New Guinea, you might ask, where in the world is that? Why should I consider? That is a gold-rich part of the world, my friends. And where is it? Well, just north of Australia in an area that has history of very productive mining. Not only does Great Pacific Gold Corp have the good property, they've got the right people in place. And when I talk about the right people, let's talk about the man at the top, Brian Slusarchuk. Uh, Brian has uh, been around the world, seen a lot, and taken other companies with very, very similar uh, characteristics to all new heights. Uh, for example, K92 Mining is a perfect example. Brian took K92 from a, a basically a mirror image of Great Pacific Gold to a highly, highly successful company. He stepped away from that and is starting over with Great Pacific. Now, if he has that kind of experience, I can only imagine what he's going to do with Great Pacific Gold Corp, with all of this property at his disposal and the right people in place. I strongly encourage you to do your own due diligence. And as always, uh, you know, I am not a financial advisor. Uh, I can only tell you uh, what I know and the facts that I know. But take a look at the charts. Take a look at the property. Take a look at the leadership. All this is to tell you that this one is worth your time and effort doing a little bit of due diligence on your own. Down in the video description, I have information leading you to Great Pacific Gold Corp. And uh, take a look at their website and uh, peruse around. I think this one is worth a really close look. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Taking a little look at my gold collection here. And, you know, I hope to increase the number of coins that you see here uh, after, you know, Great Pacific Gold Corp does its thing and is as successful as uh, so many of us hope that it will be. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Toot.